And I just want to stop here for just a second and say to Kimberly and Trila in the room and those of you who are listening, what are the things that make you indignant? And we need to be stopping and asking ourselves, would the things that make me indignant be the same things that make Jesus table flipping mad? Boom. That's a, <laughs> that, that's, that's a big, heavy question. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is totally. A, it is a big, heavy question. And it's the things that the three of us are like um, wrestling through in our lives, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The things like... I have become increasingly aware of things that have made me mad that are all the wrong things. Right. Mm -hmm. And I've let other things slide when I should have actually been upset. Mm -hmm. Like, or even just in the past celebrated or been happy about things that would have made Jesus table flipping mad. Right. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. I think those are great questions to ask ourselves on the regular. Yeah, they they really are. That's why we're kind of building a podcast around these conversations and are going to continue to be talking about this. Because what's clear from this passage is that we learn that any and all barriers to God's presence being put in the way of people on the outside – that's unacceptable to Jesus. Religious with religion, I should say, without God's heart for broken down sinners being able to come freely to him with nothing obstructing their paths are things that have to go. Mm-hmm. Attitudes that need to be tossed. They have no place in God's house or in his body. And I I'm just bringing this up guys because I want you all to think I think today is a good day to do a little heart search before, especially with Easter just a few days away. Ask God to be like your Google search engine that is searching your heart for things that need to go. I I like to pray, um, and I pray this pretty frequently, Psalm 139, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any.